What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this one, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I think make a great user defender. Now, by no means do I have the greatest user defender on planet Earth. I think it's above average. Um, I would say I've played Madden for a while now. I played a good bit. And so I've learned some stuff through the years. And so I just kind of wanted to look at these clips that I have from me playing online this year and kind of go over my thought process, what I was thinking, and kind of why the play ended up working in my favor and so uh, this first one i know atlanta versus atlanta regs oh my god um but so so this one a little backstory so it's second and 19 i had just come off a sack but this guy uh what he was doing was he was hitting uh, i was blitzing off the right edge a lot so he was hitting that flat route out the backfield that you're going to see uh, to his running back tevin coleman and so i knew he was going to want to try and throw that quick he had hit it he had hit me with it a couple times prior on this drive and so I knew that he had a route behind it. Uh, what I was doing was I was sinking back on the route behind it. He was hitting the flat. And so I said, okay, I'm going to fake like I'm going for the flat and then come back and peel back on the route because he's going to think that I can't get back to it. And so what you're going to see, snap the ball here. See how I shoot out to the flat. Now, I know he's not going to throw the flat. Now, the right read on his part would have been looking backside and looking at those two in routes over the middle of the field. Uh, I was playing pretty deep coverage here. I had probably shaded up, so I had my defenders playing pretty far back. You can see my safety in the middle there uh, playing more towards the first down marker. But So I knew at this point he wasn't going to throw the flat. If he didn't throw it already, he's not going to throw it. And so at this point I said, okay, I'm just going to drop back to the corner. And so if we roll it, you can see I dropped back to the corner. He thought I wouldn't do that, and I'm able to get a nice user pick with Deion Jones and end up taking the ball, and, and you know that's a huge swing of momentum. So the second clip, once again, Atlanta versus Atlanta regs. Um, but so this time I'm using uh, Devondre Campbell on the left side instead of Deion Jones. And you're going to see my opponent was coming out. He's in pistol ace, I believe this was. And he was hitting a lot of underneath stuff to his tight ends. And so in this case, uh, I actually, I, I probably made a mistake, honestly, at the beginning of the play and didn't react quick enough. But because of the angle I took, I was able to recover in time and so this is something that's important uh, to know just as a user uh, what angles you need to take to catch up to certain routes and so in this case if we go ahead and roll the play you can see that he's got a drag route coming from the left side uh, his left side tight end crossing over the middle of the field it's right behind my QB spy right now but you can see uh, that I'm a little bit behind it I'm a couple yards behind it and so for this reason he thought as soon as he sees this he's like oh my drag route has his user beat I'm going to have the drag as soon as it clears the spy. But what you can notice, if I run it just a little bit and pause, notice how I undercut the route. Instead of trying to run parallel with it and trying to catch up to it, I went, I took an angle underneath and basically said, okay, I don't need to just run straight at the route and try and catch up with him and, you know, tackle him when he catches it. I can undercut in this case, even though I'm behind, and I'll be able to jump up since it's such a shallow route. I can jump up and make a play. And so he thought he had me beat. I took an underneath angle on the route where he actually did have me beat, uh, but because I was able to recognize the angle that I could take, and that just comes from experience, I was able to undercut the route and end up making an interception right there. Once again, my guy goes rolling on the ground. I can't get up, uh, but still a huge swing in the momentum of that game at the time. Look, it was 3-0, so that's a big point early on in the game uh, to get a lot of momentum going back in my direction. And so now the third clip uh, this time I have the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the San Francisco 49ers. And this guy had a cute little scheme out of uh, Gun Bunch quads. So he was dotting me up pretty well. I was trying to send some pressure at him since I, obviously he's got five wide. He can't really block anybody other than that tight end. And he hadn't been blocking him. So I was trying to just send heat at him and try to jump his first reads. And finally I was able to get him on this play. Uh, but what I was doing was I was blitzing that corner off the left edge as you'll, you're going to see whenever I roll the clip. Um, but he had a lot of really quick hitting routes and he was doing a great job of making these very quick reads And so what I said I was like, okay I'm gonna start off to the inside because that's what I had been doing I'd been trying to lurk like a drag route or a quick seam route over the middle and he was hitting me to the outside So I said, okay enough of this. I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna fake like I'm staying on the inside and so pre-snap I purposely lined up over the middle like I was going to do the same thing I had been doing and I said but at the snap of the ball I'm shooting out to that left flat and, and you know trying to make a play out there if he fools me and ends up hitting me over the middle then good play by him but I'd given him the flat a few times to at this point 
And so I said, okay, I'm not letting him throw this flat again on this, this second and 10. And so if we go ahead and roll the clip a little bit, you're going to see he went with, I think it was a vertical setup here. And so I had been trying to stay over the middle to lurk. You see that deep crossing route. I have it covered with a safety this time. I had been looking at the tight end in the seam or the drag coming over the middle, and he had been hitting me with that wheel because I, I was kind of being hard-headed and kept blitzing off that left edge. And so this time I was like, okay, I'm shooting out. And so in this case, it looks like to him at the snap of the ball, all my defenders on the left side of the field are blitzing at him. You know, it looks like I'm out of position pre-snap. As soon as he snaps it, I'm over the middle of the field. So it tells him there's no way you can get out there fast enough. Now, the thing with his route is that if it was a normal flat route, he probably could have thrown this and would have gotten, you know, five or six yards. But the play had been he had been running had a wheel route on it. And so... I knew this, and so I was like, okay, I can get out there a little slower than I could normally with a normal flat route. And once again, this is something that comes with experience, just knowing the routes, when they break, the timing of them, and just playing the game a lot. So that this is something uh, you'll, you'll definitely gain with experience, but it's mainly just picking up on your opponent's tendencies and recognizing what they want to do and trying to disguise what you're going to do as a user, because a lot of guys won't just throw the ball straight at your face. Um, you know, some people will, obviously, uh, but most guys are smart enough to, to kind of try and stay away from your user. So it comes down to a mind game where you really have to bait them into throwing something that it looks open, but it's really what you want them to throw because you're planning on breaking on it at the right moment. And that's exactly what happened here. So I lined up over the middle, broke to the flat. He thought he had the wheel wide open. He throws the wheel. And once again, that's another situation. As you see right there, I get the pick with Miles Jack. It's another situation of undercutting the route. It's knowing the angle, just like the drag route. I didn't try and, you know, sprint out parallel to the wheel and meet him at the point of, you know, whenever his receiver was going to catch the ball. I knew I can undercut this route and take an angle underneath the receiver where I'll be able to jump up and, and make a play on the ball uh, with somebody like Miles Jack. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this little video. Ran a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Uh, but, you know, three user clips. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take it easy.